points or no points? That is really the question that we need to answer as you're considering, considering getting a mortgage. Now, my name is George Moorhead with Bentley Properties. I have Dan Golden here with Cornerstone Home Lending. And we're going to walk you through the pros and the cons. What should I do? What should I not do to help you and your family make the best business decision? So with that, remember to hit subscribe because this way you will be notified of these updates because we do these in real time for you guys. There's no cost, no obligation for this. Just ask your questions. And again, share the video. We'd love to uh, share our wealth of knowledge with you. I've been practicing for about 27 years. About, many, about the same. About the same in mortgage lending. Yeah. Anyway, so here we go. So let's get to it. Dan, yes. we get this question all the time. Should I buy down my rate? Because by golly, it seems like I'm going to be in this house for 10, 15, 20 years. I want the best rate. Does it make sense? Sometimes. Okay. Tell us why. It depends on your long-term goals. Really, that's really the, the first question I ask. How long will you be in the house? Okay. How long will you own this house? That's the biggest question. And what we, we came up with an example to really show this. So this will probably answer a lot of the questions. All right. So what we did is we came up with a $700,000 purchase price with 20% down. And this math is going to make sense whether you buy a $700,000 house or a $400,000 house. You put 20% down or 10% down. It should be similar as far as what we call the recoup time, which we're going to talk about. Okay. Make sense? Yep. So if you were to buy a $700,000 house with 20% down today and do what's called a uh, closure loan and what's called par pricing or zero points, points are the cost to reduce your rate that's the cost you pay to reduce your rate so a point is one percent of the loan amount okay so if if we have a uh, 700 and uh or seven hundred thousand dollar loan and i put one hundred and forty thousand dollars down purchase purchase yes and i put 20 percent down yeah. it's only on my principal balance remaining that's where the point is applied to or that one percent or whatever the it's the loan amount so in okay. that situation be 560 5600 something like that okay um so for our example we did the payment on this loan would be 23.99 with zero points that's at the rate of 3.125 par pricing today par pricing today okay 23.99 all right if you were to pay a point which is about 5400 dollars okay you you can have a rate of two point eight seven five. Now that's pretty that's pretty that inviting, good, right? And in fact, mm -hmm. don't some advertisers, mortgage advertisers, that you will see this rate, right. but they don't kind of disclose that you have to pay this fifty four hundred dollars. That's right. Okay. So they want to, they want that you know. It's kind of big, a teaser. Big teaser, and you know they want their ad to pop, so they put this rate on here, and everyone is attracted to it. Right, because that's pretty that's probably, pretty inviting. Fake news. So anyway, <laughs> so this payment equates to twenty three twenty three, right? That's not a huge savings. It's only a seventy six dollar per month savings at per a cost of fifty four hundred. And if you take what we this is this is when we start talking about the recoup time, okay? Okay. Recoup time is how long it takes you if you were to put that seventy six hundred dollars in a savings account. How long will it take you to add up to the cost that you initially paid of fifty four hundred? And that would be 71 months. You just take the cost divided by the savings, 71 that's a, months. That's a long time. It's In my opinion, that is way too long. Most people uh, will do something with their home financing within five to seven years. Right. This is just over, this is what, six and a half years? Yeah. Or not, almost seven years. Seven almost seven years. years. 72 years. would be. Yeah. So in my opinion, I would not do this buy down. I would suggest you don't do it. But if someone said, hey, I guarantee you I'm going to have this loan and this home for 15 years, right? never refinancing, never selling, never, not going to do anything, then maybe it's okay. Then that's up to you if you want to do that. But that's your recoup time. That's so, a long time. So it's a long time. I don't recommend anything over like four years of recoup time. That's typically the number I kind of... Three to four years yeah, is kind of a better years. number. If it's over four years, I start going, I might want to double think that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because that's a lot of money up front. By the way... Just to let you guys know, when he says the cost is here, that is, let me pull out my checkbook, let me pull out my debit card, my 
my billfold here and I'm going to hand you some dollars. Right. It adds to your closing costs. This is an additional cost on top of your down payment, normal closing costs, and your deposits for escrow. Right. So this is an additional cost you'll have to walk in the door with. Exactly so what you just said. That, that's kind of like standing in a sh cold shower, holding up $100 bills and lighting them on fire, right? I wouldn't say that because you're still saving money. <laughs> so there's another. So there's another offer. Another okay. another kind of reverse scenario I want to talk about. Okay. A lender credit option. This is a lender credit option, and what this is is it's kind of the same idea but in reverse. This is you as the client or the buyer accepting a higher interest rate, and then I give you a lender credit of fifty four hundred dollars. Okay, so in this one, we're paying money back. Here, you're giving me money. Right. Okay. For you accepting the higher rate than market, the market rate. Okay. You are, I'm paying you to do that. Okay. $400. So let's do the math. 2554 is your payment on three, uh, with the rate of 3625. It's a half a percent higher. Okay. And that gives you a credit of 5400 Okay. The payment is $155 per month higher. Okay. Okay, if you were to 34 months to break even after 34 months, that wipes out the credit I gave you. Okay, so in other words, this $155 goes into that 34 times. Right, so okay. if you were to pay that extra 155 and take it out of it, you put that $5,400 in a savings account that I gave you, and I pull and out 155 a month. After 34 months, that money would be gone. We would be net zero. So why would you do this? That's why, Dan? Why would I do this? Here's why you might do it. Number, a couple of reasons. Number one, you think you will not own this home or be in this loan for more than 34 months. So why would, well, would that be like if I was going to go ahead and buy a property that I was going to rehab? And, you know, like new kitchen, new new flooring, new everything. I'm going to increase the value of this home. Right. But I wanted, I don't want to do a rehab. I want to keep it down. And, and in fact, uh, I can pay, you know, a little bit of mortgage insurance or, or maybe even pay that mortgage insurance. Probably not that, but, and then do a, a short term refinance, right. maybe three, six months down the road. Yeah. If, you, if there's any reason you might refinance, uh, George's example, do a rehab. Maybe the house needs a lot of work and you want to refinance that loan because there's extra costs because of the rehab. Uh, it's a rehab loan or it's a mortgage insurance situation where you have okay. this down. So, and you're going to earn some equity and be able to remove that. So that's a short term reason you might refinance. If you think rates are going to go down. Okay. Some people think rates are going to be lower than this in right. six months from now. If that's your thought process, I'm kind of of that school of thought that they are going to go down. And maybe you're like, I want to make sure I get the, I want to hit the bottom. If you think you can time that bottom right. in six months, maybe the rates are two, seven, five. Pay your closing costs then instead of in the initial stage. Instead of paying them twice. Instead of paying them twice and right. get that better rate, you're only paying $155 for six months. So you're hedging is what you're, you're hedging doing. It. You're paying $900 over, around $900 over six months and you're getting a, you might get a rate of 275 instead of 3.1. Okay. So really even a rate of 3.65 a year ago, people were kind of scrambling over this oh, mortgage rate. Would be probably paying points to get that rate. Okay, so just to be clear, 3.625 is still an amazing interest rate. Now, the benefit is you get $5,400, it allows you to hedge. You could take that $5,400 and do anything you want with it. Yeah, it'll be credited towards your closing costs and escrow deposits. Okay. It's really money you, less you have to come in with. Wait, right, 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 right. So it's okay. instead of paying those, you're gonna get a credit. So okay, well, what if, what if, I can only put, say, 10% down or 5% down. Can I can I bump this rate and then take that $5,400 and prepay so I don't have mortgage insurance? Yeah, you can use this credit for the cost of a, what's called one-time mortgage insurance. Okay. You pay a one, one lump sum fee, which this credit can be part of that. And I think that's probably about the cost of what it would be. Maybe it might be a little higher than that. Uh, but it should be about that one point to pay out, out mortgage insurance. Okay. So basically, you get you get to remove your mortgage insurance for the difference. Okay. So, but that's a huge benefit then. So if you think you're not going to have your loan for a long period of time, this is another strategy. Right.
that is, in my opinion, a good strategy. I, I do this a lot for my clients, and they uh -huh. thank me in six months or nine months when rates are on the. Yeah. What, if, what if I'm here and I'm thinking, you know what, George, um, I'm going to be here, but I, I don't want to pay rent. Uh, and I want to own a home, but I'm only going to own this for, you know, three, four, at the most five years, but really three or four years. Right. Would that be a really good option? I think so, because even though you were going to lose after the th on the 35th month, right. that's so close to that three year mark. If you end up moving in two years, you're going to be happy you did this. Right. If you move out, uh, if you uh, move out after three years, you probably maybe lose a little bit in this scenario. But it depends. It's up to you. It, it's kind of what your risk tolerance is and what you what what works best for you. Okay. Yeah. All right. And one more thing. One more point to make. Pardon the pun. Know, go ahead with your. If you want to ask any more questions, but I have one. No. More. Go ahead. So I have one more point. I want to. If you notice something, I don't know if anybody noticed this, but the cost to go from two eight seven five to three point one two five is a point. That's only a quarter in rate. But when you go the reverse, it's a half a point difference to receive a point. Ah. So the cost to buy a rate down or buy a rate up right is not the exact same every step rate above or below okay so it only cost a point to buy it down a quarter if you only receive a point in so this is today this changes all the time okay you only receive a point at the half percent so sometimes that's the reverse so that would be half a point half point rate in rate a point right where this or you receive a point, or this one, you're paying a point to receive right. only a quarter benefit. So I just want to make sure they understood right, that, right. that clarification. So, and, and I've also had people say, well, I want to pay another point and get down to 2625. That doesn't it's make like, sense. It's like two and a half points. Yikes! It's not consistent. <laughs> Every eighth in rate is not consistent. Gotcha. On how much it costs either way up. So you got to be careful of that. People tend to think it's a, kind of a formatted. Right. Every eighth is a point or every quarter is a point. Right. It is not like that. It changes at every level. So it could be super expensive to go higher or lower depending on the rates of the great day. feedback. Okay. So, so if you have any questions, post them. We'll, we'll uh, put Dan Golden's information uh, online so you have access to that. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you like what you hear, make sure you share it. This is absolutely awesome. Points or no points. Is it in your best interest? And it's uh, just a great way to understand, a simplified way of understanding it. Dan will help you kind of create a plan that, uh, with options to say, what is the best situation for me and my family? And there's no cost, right? There's no cost for that? Nope. There we go. No cost at all. In the meantime, you guys have a great day. We'll see you on the next video. Take care.